In today's video, it's all about that group engagement on Facebook. I'm going to share how AI and a Chrome extension can help getting your engagement going up via a click of a button. I had a client who wanted to have his group engagement managed more easily. The group was about 120,000 members, so obviously getting answered uh, was actually quite, quite a task. So naturally, I designed a Chrome extension linked with a super simple make.com automation that helped getting tailored response. So a quick demonstration on the uh, application itself, the Chrome extension itself. You would actually just simply click on comments so the system know where you stand. Click on the little blue icon at the top. Now this is actually firing into my make.com webhook and it's gonna generate a tailored um, response for me. So I can just copy this and then paste it over there. The blueprint and the code will obviously be shared down below, but also in our amazing school community that I just launched back in December. We are already 41 members strong but that's just the beginning. When you join, you got an exclusive access to the Blueprint library, three calls a week from support, co-build and coffee hours. You'll learn how to self-host your AI project on your own server. And for example, have your N8, Flowwise and NoCodeDB or your own application running on your server. And all this very easily. I also have built an exclusive website for members where you can share and access up-to-date prompts. If you wanted to have actually a sneak peek, please go ahead, type prompt.flowgrammar.ai after you watch the video, obviously. I cannot wait to see you on the inside. Let's go back to the automation. The automation itself is very, very easy, but there's a lot to unpack when it comes to the Chrome extension itself. For you to understand how this worked, we currently have a Chrome extension that as soon as you click on the comment section, send a webhook comment, a webhook trigger into make. And so the webhook trigger is this over here. That's just a custom webhook where I'm passing all the information coming from the Chrome extension. If I'm looking to the history over there, I'm passing obviously the content, the post content, and then I'm passing as well the comment over there, right? So basically on the webhook, I'm calling from the Chrome extension, the post content, and then the comment itself. Now, what am I doing we, as soon as I have the trigger? So the webhook is the trigger. What I'm actually doing this from here is that this is actually the brain. This prompt over here allow me to actually then analyze the comment plus the post and then generate a Taylor message over there. Here's the prompt. I'll let you read it through, but basically what I'm going through on the prompt is that I'm telling you that this is an AI copywriter. The task is to create a Facebook comment, a meaningful comment response basically. And notice that I'm saying about a ton of voice. What I'm doing here is that I'm passing the whole ton of voice. So here's the post content, here's the comment as well. So remember from the webhook, I'm analyzing the comments and the post content. And all I have here is actually my tone of voice. All this is a tone of voice over there. So that's actually my writing skill or style, I, I should say, uh, of myself. I took this coming from Twitter, coming from some article, write myself, um, and I've actually pasted it on the prompt itself which then actually make it sound like it was me typing it. Um, very, very powerful over there. Maybe what I do uh, on the next video is that actually I'm gonna explain, make a website available for you so you guys can actually run your own ton of voice. Uh, please let me know in the comment down below if this is something you'd like to actually see, but I'd be happy to do that uh, if, uh, if the comment is actually uh, positive. And that's actually what we do afterwards. We are doing a webhook response. Again, as I said, this is not the complexity of this automation. This automation is basically three module. Very, very simply, if you think about it, the whole difficulty come whenever I'm pushing, I'm gonna show you now, I'm gonna move into the, the Chrome extension and I'm gonna explain how this worked. But basically the Chrome extension fired the webhook to trigger the automation. I have then ChatGPT as the brain, allowing me to actually uh, have the response and then I feed this back, I loop it back to the Chrome extension via the webhook response itself. And the webhook response looks like this. I'm, I'm passing result one, two, and three. The difficulty, as I said, is on the Chrome extension. If I looked into my console, if I'm going to inspect mode and I'm going to console, I'm gonna clear this up over here. The difficulty of this automation is that Facebook has dynamic div. 
A div is actually basically within, imagine Facebook, this is your Canva, and within the Canva you have actually the comment section. So if I actually inspect over there, you see that's actually one block, second block, that's another block, that's a div basically, another block. And so you see over there, if I'm overing over the page, the page is actually a whole block itself. This is actually the section I was looking for because you have actually so many posts within the page that you don't want the automation to actually respond something completely different. And so I had to come with a clever way. I'm gonna show you the Chrome extension as well. And I'm gonna explain how to actually deploy this on your side if you wanted to, but basically watch this. Whenever I click on comments, and this is actually the clever way I've came up with is that by clicking into the comment section, now the whole system returned me trying to define actually which div I'm supposed to watch for. And in this case, the system, the, the Chrome extension found out that this is the div over there. Now, if I'm trying to generate this over here, we're gonna see that this is generating a content for something called last one went under contract before. If I go back here to the Chrome history, I'm gonna go to the history over here and I'm gonna look into the post content. Last one went under contract before open. And this is exactly the post. And now I can just copy this and paste it over there in the comment section and then have it paste. But bottom line, all the magic happened on the Chrome extension where the Chrome extension knows exactly where I'm passing, like where, which button I'm pushing. So if I go to another one, for example, I wanna click on comment on this. As you see, I managed to define as well again, the comment section, which post I'm looking to answer. That's how basically by clicking on the comment button, this is how I've managed to actually make AI to understand from the Chrome extension, which post I'm looking at. Before I show you the code, I'm gonna show you how we can actually load this Chrome extension yourself. So I'm gonna close this inspect. I'm gonna go to extension, manage, manage extension. You need to enable developer mode at the top right, and you will not have actually this extension over there. But basically what you're searching for, you're searching for the button called load unpacked. You actually load unpacked over there. You would go to your folder where you just unzip the Chrome extension and you are searching for something called Facebook Gemini. Make the Facebook Gemini, click on select, and now you have actually the Chrome extension that's actually been uh, enabled over there. You're gonna have to refresh the page and you should actually then afterward have a button, a blue icon at the top, uh, at the top right of your screen. If you don't see this button, this button is only available on the groups. So you need to be on the, on the Facebook groups in order to have it to run. This is actually the purpose of this. I'm only looking to answer into my group engagements, not into my feeds. We're gonna now move into the code itself. I'm gonna show you where to replace your uh, webhook. We went through how the application worked and how I've managed to actually map this together before explaining and jumping into uh, my ID or my uh, windsurf uh, or code editor. We're gonna go create first a webhook. We're gonna now create a webhook. So we're gonna click on webhook over here, click on add, name this webhook the way you want. So Facebook uh, demo or whatever the name is. Click on save, copy this address over there. And now you are ready to actually go and modify the code within your uh, text editor or I'm using Sublime usually. In this case, I'm gonna actually use Windsurf, but basically all you have to do is you open your Facebook Gemini folders and within the folders, you're gonna have actually an icon folders, a background, a content script.js, some other icon, a manifest, a pop-up, and a pop-up.js. You wanna go and open your background.js line 14. That's exactly where I want you to go ahead. I want you to go there, delete this, and actually paste your webhook over there. That's actually very important. If you skip this part, you will actually not have the trigger started. The trigger will come from my webhook actually, basically. And so that's why I want you to actually move your, uh, replace your webhook. On the video, on the code I'm gonna share with you guys, I'm gonna put uh, the webhook, I'm gonna put something like replace or input your webhook here. Uh, something on those lines, but basically you want to modify anything that's actually on line 14 on the background.js. Save this and now go back to your Chrome extension. So go back to your Chrome, click on extension, manage extension, and then on load unpacked, you would actually go ahead, select the folders where you have actually the Facebook uh, Gemini 
saved and click on select over there and congratulations you are actually now have facebook group engagement assistant version 1.0 installed on your computers all right if you wanted to understand the magic in the background on how the query selection worked um, query selector is actually the link uh, it's a JavaScript language used actually in Chrome to select the div, basically selecting what you are looking for. Uh, everything happened in the content script.js. Over there, starting at line 70 something, uh, I'm actually trying to, whenever I'm pushing the post container, which is actually the container that's supposed to have the post itself, I'm trying to focus on some elements. If those elements are not actually being found, if those div are not being found, then the system is unable to actually return uh, saying like could not find a main post content in this case. Uh, it, it never happened, but if Facebook decide to change those pattern at one point on the query selection, you, we might need to actually work on a V2 uh, of, the, of the app. But basically this is actually the main point. I'm focusing on the, con on the main container where I'm trying to find actually the, the post container here, right? So line 58. Out of there, I'm trying to extract the query selection from actually those div, and those the, that's, that's the naming convention that actually Facebook is using. And then I'm trying then to analyze the comments as well for each for each of the uh, for each of the person. So you see over there, the label is actually comment by, and then I'm actually putting the the, the comment information from. I'm returning this into an array, into the code. And then I'm, allow, I'm, I'm passing this back into the webhook over there. So that's actually the whole magic of the app. I'll let you run the code. You can actually copy this code, put it into Cloud, and ask to explain if you wanted to have a deeper understanding. But basically, content.script.js is your uh, main file that you're looking for. And there you have it, guys. I hope this video was actually somehow helpful. And I hope you're going to actually increase your engagement on your Facebook group. Once you are done with uh, this implementation, please press one in the comment section down below. Um, and until next time, I'll see you on the next video, guys. Thank you very much.